kick off your New Year's Eve celebration with appetizers that will fuel your guests until midnight. Chef Aleka Sweeney is back in the kitchen with some delicious options to ring in 2024. I have been a fan of yours for so long from afar. Oh, thank Honored you. to be here with you. What are we cooking? <laughs> Well, uh, congratulations on having a baby. Thank you. So you know yes. I'm hungry. Yes. 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 Ready to I eat. would say I know we're probably all tired in this room from, you know, having baby and the holidays. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we've got another party coming up. We do. We do. I'm all for it, though. Me I too. mean, yes. yeah. So. <laughs> you gave me a week in between. <laughs> you need a you need yeah, a break, I, I think we're all surviving on cheese. And oh, yes. sleep right yes. now. That's my blood type. <laughs> very true. So what I brought for you guys is really three really quick, easy New Year's Eve appetizers okay, that you can actually get from things that you have at home. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is, um, I'm a big fan of going to Altius. I love oh, that restaurant. Too. Love the best. So the why popcorn. don't we do some herb popcorn? Why herb, don't we, Chef Alexa? That herb, sounds like a great herb idea. Popcorn. Put it out. What I did, it's I did it the old school way. I bought a bag of popcorn, mm. and then when it came, it's butter, Italian herbs, and Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, put it out for people to just kind of grab oh. and walk around, and you can have a drink in another hand, too. Yeah, and I do appreciate the, portab <laughs> the, portability, <laughs> the portability of this snack. The portability of it. It's <laughs> easy, easy, easy to make. And I love the little containers, too. You yes. can probably just make these at you, home. You can't, oh, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I'm gonna make <laughs> it at home, sure. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. The other one I really like to do, I really like interactive appetizers. Mm -hmm. So this is a make your own, I'm gonna have you two, you want to, since you wanted to. Oh, you're uh, putting us to work. I am. Okay. I am. We love a challenge. I'm not quite the cook, but let's go. <laughs> and you don't have to cook. You just have to pipe. Even but better. This okay. is a make your own deviled egg bar. Call oh, me. Yes. The deviled pied eggs. Piper. My favorite. Yeah, so, it's okay. just, so what you want to do is squeeze with that and, mm -hmm. and just pretend like you're squeezing toothpaste. There oh, you okay. go. There we go. There's, you Boom. know, it's oh. double stuffed. That you a yolk me. girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love yolk a good yolk. I do too. It's the best part. Okay. So, you know, I know some people have like really specific deviled egg recipes yes, and they want yeah. it this way They're or passed that down. way. Yeah, right. So I just said, just put all of the different toppings out. Mm -hmm. Just a basic deviled egg recipe. Put all the toppings out. Let people kind of do their own. I so love I've got this. onions, some capers, some pickled onions, oh. some... Um, Cornichons or some. I got some hot sauce. There you go. Yeah, you there need that. Go. I got hot. I'll pay Beyonce. <laughs> in your bag. So, Take it wherever you go. Yeah, so yeah. some hot sauce. That is fantastic. So, lastly, this is what I do for almost every holiday um, appetizer. This is smoked tomato soup. Ooh. So just make a regular tomato soup recipe if you want and add smoked Why am I still pepper. Right? <laughs> add just in case. <laughs> add some smoked paprika. Okay. And what? Um, so we can do some grilled cheese bites if you want. <gasps> so this is or this is again my dream portable soup. What I did is I made some puff pastry straws oh. that you can put on the side, or you guys could eat that or Just dip it, dip, dip, it. Oh dip it, and eat it. So it's puff pastry that I rolled out, and then I brushed some. Butter. I'm like really afraid there's gonna catch on fire. I know, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We have it all under control. <laughs> That'd be a fun show. <laughs> I know. So you want to brush some unsalted butter. You buy the buff pastry in the freezer mm -hmm. section at the store, and this is just unsalted butter and whatever herbs you want to put in there. So I did some paprika. This is unbelievable. And then you fold it over like this, and then you want to take a and get your kids involved. Take a pizza cutter and cut them like this. And what I did to twist it is I twisted it like this mm -hmm. before I baked it. Okay. And you wanna kinda make sure that they're sort of glued on your cookie sheet. Not really like with real glue. Sure. Okay, can I say <laughs> glue. No glue, I'm, glue. I'm, no glue involved. I'm glad she you clarified. Kinda like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm not a whiz in the kitchen. No, I was thinking the same it's thing. Like no real glue. So you just kind of twist it like this, okay, and then you kind of really try to adhere to your sheet pan so it doesn't fly around. Yeah. What I love about this, though, you mentioned you buy the pastry, yep. so it's not something that you necessarily have to make because no. this is supposed to be quick and easy. Yeah, quick Thank and goodness. easy. Thank goodness. Just tomato soup, puff pastry, popcorn. Make some deviled eggs, put out some pop toppings. You're done. It's elevating <gasps> very easy exactly. things. Exactly. Yeah. That's what my brand is. I'm a, like elevate. I take home cooking and I make it bougie. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I I love that. For you. But I mean, when you're at a party like this, I mean, you're just looking for a little quick bite to exactly. pick up and eat to get you to that midnight mark. Exactly. I, and there's people like me. That's tough. Soak it up. <laughs>
<laughs> and if you're interested in hiring Chef Aleka for at-home cooking classes or private events, we'll have more information on our website, kdk.com slash talkpittsburgh. We'll be